In this quick tip, I'm going to show you how to enable the non-destructive landscape layers on new landscapes or on existing landscapes. First, in order to use the non-destructive landscape layers, you have to have Unreal Engine 4 version 4.24 or later. There are two ways to enable landscape layers. First is when you create a new landscape. So here I'm going to go into the landscape mode. I'll have the standard default landscape creation screen. And before you hit create, you have to come up here at the top and enable edit layers. And once you have that enabled, go ahead and hit create. Under the sculpt menu, right here on the bottom, you will have your edit layers. And if you switch over to the paint menu, you will have the same set of layers. If you have a landscape already created, such as if you created one from previous versions of Unreal, without using the landscape layers, you can enable edit layers on existing landscapes. To do that, select the landscape, then go into the details panel, scroll down under landscapes, and click on to enable edit layers. Once you do, a menu will pop up, telling you that you will clear any undo redo buffer. This means you won't be able to undo this. So go ahead and click yes. And then once you do, this landscape will now have the ability to add and edit layers. Now, whatever information you have on your landscape right now, this will be your base. So you won't start from a flat landscape like we did when we created a new landscape. Because since you already have information in it, this becomes your base. And it will be contained within the default first layer. And if you want to learn how to create landscapes and how to use all the sculpting tools so you can create landscapes and use the landscape layers more efficiently, I have a tutorial course that will teach you everything you need to know for how to sculpt landscapes and create landscape materials entirely inside UE4. It's called UE4 Fundamentals Volume 2 Landscapes Essentials. And I highly recommend you pick that up if you want to be more proficient at creating landscapes with UE4.